Hi, my name is Dana Beck. Welcome to my YouTube video. And today, what I'd like to share with you are four steps or four keys to optimizing your email marketing. And email is an integral part of, of any strategy, of any marketing strategy. And it plays, again, a major role. And to do it right is really important. Now, this is just four keys that I'm going to be sharing with you, but there are many, many more. But these are four that I've used and have worked for me. So let's get right into so what is the first key? Well, the first key is position your opt-in wisely. Position your opt-in wisely. First of all, people have to see your opt-in. And you've got to tell them what to do. You know, click here. You know, uh, click on this URL. Click on this, on this button. Click on this image. Whatever it is, make sure your opt-in is very clear and easy to find. You don't want your uh, potential visitors or your potential subscribers to have to search all over your site trying to find the opt-in. It should be very clear and very obvious. And make sure you have an opt-in on all of your pages, your landing pages, your, you know, your websites, and so forth and so forth. So an opt, you know, make sure your opt-in is, again, uh, is very, very strategically placed on all of your sites so people know exactly what it is you want them to do. And then the next thing is ensure, now this is important, ensure that uh, your opt-in is enticing. You know, and, a, and a great way to make your opt-in enticing is to include an incentive. Get this free PDF downloadable file or get this free video training series or some other incentive, um, some other you know item that they'll get if they if they opt in, they'll get this, they'll get that. And that's a really, really important, important key. And you know, and, and it should be a free item, um, you know, and so, uh, again, you know, I've also heard it called, you know, your bait to, to draw people in. So make sure that your opt-in, why should they click on your opt-in? All right. That's the question you have to answer. Well, they sh you should click on my opt-in because if you opt into my list, you'll get this, you'll get this, you'll get this, whatever the case might be. So make it enticing. And then the third one, the third point is uh, your newsletter. Is your newsletter talking about buy my stuff, buy my stuff, look how great my product is, look how great my service is, you're going to love it. You know, are you talking strictly, is that what your newsletter says? Because if that's all your newsletter covers, um, you're going to lose subscribers left and right. You want to have value in all of your newsletters. Provide value to them. And if you are promoting your service or your product, don't talk so much about the product, but talk about what your product will do for them. If you buy, you know, if you buy this, this marketing program, it will increase your sales by 25%, 50%, 150%, whatever. What's it going to do for them? Because most people, have you heard the expression WIFM, what's in it for me? So you've got to make sure that you're providing value uh, in your newsletters. Make sure your newsletters are, are rich and full of value. And it could be product reviews, uh, how-to articles, and so forth and so forth. Um, but again, you want your newsletters to to provide value and in many cases especially if you're promoting a service or a product how your service or your product you know is going to help them overcome a challenge they may be facing an obstacle they may be facing and approach it from the angle of um, again how is it going to solve that problem and it goes back to the analogy i'm sure you've heard before you know the, the nail and the hole in the wall well the hammer and the nail and the hole in the wall you know you go to you go to a local hardware store uh, to buy a hammer or a drill to drill a hole in the wall not that you want to drill you want that hole in the wall you want the end result so focus on the end result uh, and again, you know, and incorporate that, interweave it in the value that you provide in your newsletters. And then the fourth point, the fourth point is another is another uh, great one. Um, promote seamlessly, you know, and and when you and again, this kind of ties into uh, what I just mentioned about the newsletter. But you know, if you're going to um, promote your service or your product, do it. It shouldn't be like it shouldn't be jerky. It should flow, um, and. And this is really, you know, this is really, um, like, for instance, here, here's an analogy I heard one time. Uh, you know, if a guy walks up to a girl and he's never seen before, doesn't even know, and say, hey, you want to go out with me? 
she's, you know, she'd probably, she might slap him. She might say, what are you, crazy? And walk away. However, if the guy goes up to a girl and starts a conversation with her, um, identifies common interests that they have, they start to build a little, you know, a little rapport. And then if he says, hey, would you like to go out to dinner sometime? His chances of being successful are greatly heightened when he starts to build that relationship. So when you promote, you know, build that relationship, build that relationship with your potential subscribers, your potential customers. And, and again, your, your, your whole marketing plan uh, should be seamless. It should flow. It shouldn't be jerky. You know, one minute you're talking about how great, you know, your, uh, well, the, uh, the solution to the problem, and then immediately you jump right into, now you need to buy my product. No, you don't want to do it like that. You want to do it very seamlessly and it should flow. It should, you know, and it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be, uh, again, jerky and um, it shouldn't be awkward. So make sure that you're, you know, you're, uh, when you promote that it flows, that it's smooth, that you're not just jumping out of the gate right away, so to speak, talking about your product. Um, build that relationship first. And, and you know, as you build that relationship, you'll also be able to identify what your potential subscribers needs might be. Um, they might, they might tell you, well, you know, I have a real challenge, you know, generating traffic. Well, you know, I might be able to help you with that, but you do that after you build a relationship. So that, you know, you know, that, that's a little bit now uh, on that. So, I mean, um, so, you know, you've got, you've got to, again, just uh, work at it a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, and you, and you, again, build that relationship. So that's how you promote seamlessly. So again, you know, these are four points. These are four keys, four strategies that you can use uh, to increase, you know, your your marketing efforts, your email marketing efforts, to optimize your marketing efforts. And again, these will these will really really help you to get more open rates, get more opt-ins, and and the final analysis, get more clickings. You want you want more click through, not clickings. You want you want more click throughs. You know, people will opt in and they see your offer or they see something you're promoting, like, huh. That's interesting, and you want them to click on it. But again, that comes by you know building that relationship and some of the other things I've talked about here a few moments ago. You know these four points on optimizing your email marketing. And again, you if you apply these, uh, you'll see, you should see a great increase in the again in the uh, efficiency, if you please, of your email marketing. So hopefully you got value out of this. And if you did, please leave a comment. I always enjoy reading your comments and I, I respond to all of them as a matter of fact. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. There is a subscribe button down below where you can click on. Go ahead, click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I very much appreciate it. And if you found great value in this, um, go ahead and click on, now there's a, there's a, a, a hyperlink um, below and you know this hyperlink here okay now this will be a hyperlink below this video now keep in mind you know this is not a, a, a you know a, an MLM this is not a bait and switch you know telling you one thing and then when you get to the website it's something completely different uh, it's not an income opportunity it is not a website where you go and you download the software put it on autopilot and all the money starts rolling in no it's none of those things whatsoever this is a training center a training hub designed by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs and it has all the tools all the strategies all the insight everything you need to be able to build your online business if you have an existing business or conversely if you want to start an online business it'll walk you through step by step how you can build an online business and earn a steady income online and again this is not you know this is not an income opportunity or anything like that it is a training hub a training center again designed by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs and if you check it out i think you'll be really really surprised i think you'll be really pleased with it so go ahead click on this link and uh you know the url below and uh go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel i very much appreciate it thank you so very very much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next video so thanks so much and you take care now bye bye